Morning. Morning. So, as you know, the most dominant person in tennis is who? Serena. Serena Williams. Serena Williams won the 2017 Australia Open against her sister, Venus, while pregnant. This was her 23rd single Grand Slam this year. A Grand Slam is the major tournaments. You got the Australia Open, the Wimbledon Open, the I think it's the French Open and the U.S. Open. So <clears throat> the whole story of why I picked up a tennis racket is because when I was a baby boy in Minnesota, um, I was at my grandpa's house and one day I saw him going outside, you know, when you're little, you, whoever you look up to. So I seen him and he was picking up some tennis rackets and you know, where I'm from, Norfolk, what do they have? Basketball, football, little baseball, is that your little league? Y'all know about that, I think. So, <laughs> but anyways, I was like, Grandpa, I wanna play tennis. He said, I didn't know you wanna play, buddy, come on. So, you know, me and him would go play tennis. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you know, ever since then, I never dropped that tennis racket, never. That was my first love, and it still is my first love. So, going forward, um, he taught me the basics, and I took that back to Virginia, and I ran with it. So, he, he gave me my weapon of choice was a Prince. This was one of the first rackets he gave me. Um, Prince is a very well-known brand. It's been around for years, and it's still very respected, even with all these black leather brands coming out. They just want our money. But, <laughs> but needless to say, I lost my other racket. Yeah, I dropped that running to my high school sweetheart's house. But I was upset because I valued the racket and I lost it, but she lived far, so I wasn't going to get that racket back. But, <laughs> but, but anyways, at least I have one, one, you know, so I get that. And then when I went back to Virginia, so I had a, um, my second childhood best friend, his dad was a heavy tennis player, and needless to say, he, um, he took me under his wings, and we just started playing. I got involved in traveling tennis, and that's when I started the competition. I played in D.C., um, I guess Spain. But it was a wake-up call because it made me want to play even more, especially with the adversity of me playing in the sport. I wanted to be, you know, like an Arthur Ashe. So, I picked up a racket from his dad. His dad gave me a Golden Prince racket. And it was my eighth grade year because I had played two years at Rosemont. And I said, you know what? I said, this year Nor at Norview Middle, I'm going all the way with this racket. So needless to say, I, um, I was in the doubles championship against Blair Middle School. And it was, it was intense. It wasn't I wasn't most more so worried about the adversity because you know I'm black and white. You know I got black grandparents and white grandparents, so it's it's that's not a big deal to me. But you know they will automatically assume because I'm black I didn't know how to play when I step on the court. So I, I took that as an advantage, and um, we went in and we were we were doing good and I actually hit the winning point on a um, on a poach volley and I just stuck it out and it went over to the net and. Was like, <laughs> you know, I felt like Federer on the doll or something. <laughs> so, uh, um, so yeah, in middle school I played tennis, and all the way up to high school. In high school, I had two undefeated, almost two undefeated seasons. My sophomore year, I did uh, an undefeated season, and in that year, I played a guy at Granby named Jake Morgan. We played travel tennis together, and I mean, he was creaming me. Like he was having fun, he was cooking, cooking the pot, and I, I was I wasn't upset because I like to fight back. But I'm gonna explain the scoring to y'all real quick. It's gonna be real brief. So basically, I'm gonna explain like how bad I was losing. So in a game of tennis, you the game, all right? It's a game. It's six games in one set. So in order to win a game, you have to win four points. So that's so everybody starts off at zero. You know how they'll say, love, love, or love 15. So love is zero, it's okay, zero. So then you get then 15, 30, 40, and point. So you gotta get four. Then you have 
six games to win a set, but you have to win by two. So you know how you hear tie break, tie break. That's if the set is tied 6-6 six, six or something. Or, you know, okay, so we're tied at 6-6. Six, six. We're not going to go play a whole other two games. We're going to do a tie break. Or if it was like 5-6, y'all still with me? If it was 5-6, you would just win a game. You could win by 7-5. All right, and then to win a match, you gotta get two sets out of three. So that's two out of three overall. All right, so he, he, yeah, it is. <laughs> he had me, because it can go on forever. Um, he had me, he beat me 6-1 first match. Then he beat me, no, he didn't beat me again. It was like 5-2, and he was, about, he was about to clear out. I came back like 7-5. I won the extra two games, and then he just gave in, cause I was I wasn't playing like I wanted my undefeated season. So, <laughs> so um, senior year, I ended up in the hospital. But the very first game we played against the Beach District, and I beat um, Princess Anne. And Princess Anne um, tennis is like one of the best tennis, best tennises tennis teams in Virginia. Period. And I beat their number three. Okay, and um. So now going forward, let me just hop in over to this because it's kind of uh, a lot to explain. I don't want to take up all the time. All right. Oh, okay, look at you. All right, so, so basically, uh, this is the, can you fix it for me? This is the forehand. So forehand, I'm not going to say, but y'all can see the pictures. I want y'all to have a visual. So I'm going to do it from the side. So basically, you're in ready position, and then you just put your hand up here to help you guide the racket, and then you do what you call a split step to help prep for the ball to come, because you're trying to anticipate. Tennis is all about anticipation, because the ball is coming so quick, like the serves are like 90 miles per hour. So you can split step, and then you know you just, one, two. That's the turn, then you lock and load, and then you come around bring it out and come around, and you follow through and step into the court, and then go back into split step. So basically, as you can see, Pat was talking about earlier, he said he would, um, like, you know, baseball, you notice how somebody go like this, you know how the ball go, like, over the fence. That's what, that's what usually happens. It's not, it's not like, you know, baseball, it's not, you know, you're chopping wood, you know, it's literally, it's literally out, it's across, and finish. It's, very, it's a very graceful sport. But um, so now the backhand is, I'm gonna do it without the racket so you can see. So the backhand is the same thing, but they, they use two hands because your backhand is your weaker hand. That's why I admire Federer, because he just, he just a beast with it. He's just like, you know, so. Basically, you just go like this, same thing, split, step, and then lock, and then come through. And then with the racket, it just looked like this. All right, and then um, what else? Oh, yeah, the volley, the volley. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to pass. So the volley, I just wanted to show y'all a, um, a threat you could use. It's, it's not mandatory, you learn it as you go. So if you, can you come up here, Milton? All right, so say, say Milton, stay right here. You, everybody seen doubles, everybody watched tennis before, right? On once in their life. So he's, you usually see one person in the backcourt and then somebody's up here. So with the ball's coming over the net and I don't want, Milton to run up to the net to get it, you do what this thing is called poaching. You basically, you go across the, the trick, the teammate. So you come across and you poach. But that can be dangerous because if, if he hits it and takes it from me and the other team got a down the line shot. So, but poaching, that's the threat. Now volleying, when you poach, whenever you at the net, this is, this is how you volley. You go like this. It's, it's literally a punch, but it's very thorough and straight through. It's literally like a cross, punch, punch. So when you do that, you have to keep the racket at an angle 
because tennis is all about placement. It's not about power. It's not about a lot of the people who have power from their shots, it's because they're hitting the racket and stroking the ball the right way. So that's it.